Hey everybody, I wanted to give you a quick um, instructional video about using the circuits tool in Tinkercad. This is something Autodesk has really done a good job with developing. It's great for introductory skills to Arduino, which is what we're going to be learning about over the next few weeks. Intro to circuits and electrical engineering and that sort of stuff. Once you log into Tinkercad and you go to Tinkercad.com and log in with Google, uh, because you do have a um, Google account and it is um, something that the school supports, you'll get into Tinkercad. Now, once in, you can join my class um, and you'll need to do that because that's how I'm going to check on your virtual labs when you build these things, uh, these circuits and things like that. But if you'll look like this is 3D design and you can see this is things that were modeled in Tinkercad. And on the left side, you have something over here called circuits. All right, circuits is where you can do all this Arduino simulation. Now, under circuits, you can create a new circuit. You can save projects. You can do all kinds of different things. So for your first lab, you are actually going to create a new circuit. So you're going to log in and you're going to go to circuits and you're going to click create a new circuit. Now, you can see that it's going to give it some kind of... Um, funky name and this is actually funky jar wolf so for lab number zero which is actually the first one we're going to name this blink so i want you to click there and rename this blink now this is called your workspace and this is where you will be able to drag components so you have some tabs here called code start simulation export and share um, code as you can see this is a code block there's nothing there yet start simulation is what you're going to use to actually um, make your arduino function it's just like uploading the code from the ide on the computer to the arduino board over here you see you have all these components and parts so you're going to make sure that you go to all components and then you're going to scroll down and you're actually going to find an Arduino, just a plain Arduino R3 board. And it's going to be that right there. It says Arduino Uno R3. And you're going to select it. And when you do, it drags it over to your workspace. So now you can put a name there if you want to, but you are going to hit the start simulation button and you can see the power gets plugged into the port. And then you're going to observe some things on here like the green light, on light comes on. And this is called the pin 13 light. And you can see that it blinks. When the lab, you're going to have to do some manipulation of code to see if we can change that. So you're going to come over here to code. And this is what code looks like in blocks. And so you can stack code on top of each other. And that's how you know it fits together. We're actually going to change this to um, be text and... I can't do that until I stop the simulation. So I'm going to go to text and it says, are you sure? We're going to change this. All right. This is a delay of one second. We're going to make it a half second. So in the in C, the language C, a 1000 stands for one second. So just keep that in mind. I'm not going to change these comments right here. I just wanted you to see when I hit start simulation again, what happens to the blinking light? Well, it blinks faster. Those are the things you're going to need to answer. Those two things. Very simple. Um, you can play around in here. Uh, the great thing about this simulator is that it gives you the ability to build things and test the code and not screw it up. You can import code. You can copy and paste code from um, Arduino libraries you find online and things like that and test how things are set up. Um, and when we get into the more complicated builds, you're actually able to... Um, let me get rid of the code here. You can add um, parts and breadboards and all kinds of things um, to make them work. And there's even have some pre-built resistors and things like that. So, you know, feel free to play around in here and, uh, and see um, what you have. Thanks for watching and reach out if you have any other questions.